easily the best looking blue, blue purplish colored dial out there. This is the Grand Seiko. These are gonna be hard to find too. The SBGJ261, nicknamed the Blue Peacock. Big thanks to the crew at Exquisite Timepieces in Naples, Florida for sending this over. For me to check out, there's only 500 of these. And yes, they have a, a Grand Seiko price tag. They're $6,800. I know there's a ton of Grand Seiko fans out there as well as fans of Blue Dial. So I think only 500 of these is a legit, good, solid, limited edition number. So let's get into this. Case size 40 millimeter. 46 millimeter lug to lug. 14.3 millimeter thick, a little bit on the thicker side. Includes a slightly domed sapphire crystal. Lug width 19 millimeter. That's kind of a weird one, but the bracelet pairs up really nice with this. You're probably gonna leave it on bracelet. Although it would work great on some good leather straps too, I'm sure. The bracelet does taper down to 18 mil and you have a seven millimeter screw down crown. There should be a 100 meter water depth rating on this, or 10 bar. I think we're going to spend most of the time zoomed in on this. I think that's the only way to potentially even do this justice. Anything I say or do or the way I hold this or move this isn't going to do it justice. You know what? Can we zoom in more? Can we? We can go a little bit more. That's, a, that's about as much as I can go right there. I mean, the finishing of Grand Seiko, both on the case... And on the components under the crystal, the handset, the indexes, even the date wheels, kind of like silver with black print. This is a GMT. The movement is a 9S86 high beat. You can see that smooth sweep of the seconds hand. It beats at 8 ticks per second or 36,000 vibrations per hour. It has a 55 hour power reserve and has a a stellar accuracy rating. I'm intentionally getting that light to go in there just so you can see how dynamic all of the materials used, the finishing, and of course the color of the dial. That also goes over to the finishing of the case. I'm going to do my best here because I know I have it smudged up some, but the sharp contrast from the polished to that Excellent done brushing is just spectacular. You do have a display case back showing off that great Grand Seiko movement. This is labeled limited edition. You can see it right there on the case back. Thirty-seven jewels, all of that good stuff. I can't stay zoomed in that long. It drives my eyes nuts. Just a great looking watch. Signed crown, of course. Yeah, $6,800. It's a lot of money. I get it. But I think you're getting a fantastic watch for sure. Excellent finishing on the bracelet as well. You have screw pins. You do have a couple half links. I think you'll be able to get it sized good. Here's what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Not sized, of course, this is a brand new watch. There's what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Totally wearable, 40 by 46. Perfect size for this style of watch. No loom really, is there? No, I don't see any loom. So sport dress watch, whatever you wanna say, right in that range. This thing does, this whole video doesn't look right unless I'm zoomed in partially, I think. Um, if we unscrew the crown, very smooth. I mean, they did a phenomenal job with the crown tube, and that's something we just take for granted, I think, in the watch enthusiast uh, community, is the interaction of the crown. You know, you can screw that up, and Grand Seiko did not do that. They nailed it. So when you wind this movement, I love the way the high beat movement winds on these Grand Seiko. This is a Traveler's GMT. If we go all the way out, we can adjust the time. 
of the GMT hand, which is kind of done in gold. It's not real gold, but if you go to that first position, if I can get it there, there we go. Then you can just jump the hour hand forward or backward. That is how you adjust the date as well. So you would just go all the way around and then you can advance the date like so. Pretty easy to do. Like I said, great interaction with the crown to the tube to the case. Very nice. Just a stunning watch. <laughs> the Grand Seikos, I know a lot of people think that I have a, a weird relationship with Grand Seiko. It's not so much that. It's just, maybe it is that. I don't know. But the more I handle these Grand Seiko, the more I just get it. And maybe that's all I needed. I just needed more time with the Grand Seikos. <laughs> Exquisite keeps sending me Grand Seiko. The more I look at them, the more it just makes sense. It really is only just a matter of time. I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but at some point, I'm probably going to end up with a Grand Seiko. It just makes sense for me. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video.